Welcome to Angela's Storytime. You can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book. Today's story is Dear Mother Goose by Michael Rosin and Nick Sharat. Humpty Dumpty, Incy Wincy, Mary Mary, Jack and Jill do what they do again and again. And so it seems they always will. But then one day, Humpty said, I don't like doing what I always do. I sit on a wall and then I fall off. I really must do something new. He said to himself, I'll write a letter to old Mother Goose to help me do better. When she wrote back, what she said was so true. All Humpty's friends wrote letters too. Dear Mother Goose, I keep falling off walls. What should I do? Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Dear Humpty Dumpty, perhaps you shouldn't keep sitting on walls. Why not try an egg cup? Mother Goose. Dear Mother Goose, every time I sit down to eat my curds and whey, a spider comes along and frightens me. What can I do, Miss Muffet? Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Dear Miss Muffet, when you eat your curds and whey, do you sit on a tuffet? Big mistake. Spiders love tuffets. Best place to eat your curds and whey is in the bath. Spiders don't like bubbles, Mother Goose. Dear Mother Goose, my sister Jill and I go up the hill to fetch water, but we keep falling down. What shall we do? Jack. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Dear Jack, when you and Jill come down the hill, you could catch the bus. That would be safer, Mother Goose. Dear Mother Goose, there are some very dangerous blackbirds in the garden where I hang out the clothes. When the king has his pie, they come out and attack me, a maid. Sing a song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was open, the birds began to sing. And wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The queen was in the parlour, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, hanging out the clothes. When down came a blackbird and pecked off her nose. Dear maid, you could try wearing a crash helmet, Mother Goose. Dear Mother Goose, I've got another problem. Whenever I jump over the candlestick, my trousers get burnt. Jack. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Dear Jack, hello again. Before you jump, remember to blow the candle out, Mother Goose. Dear Mother Goose, I can't find a bone for my dog. Can you help me, Mother Hubbard? Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her poor dog a bone. But when she got there, the cupboard was bare and so the poor dog had none. Dear Mother Hubbard, have you looked in the fridge, Mother Goose? Dear Mother Goose, I'm fed up. People keep on looking into my garden and I'm getting really cross about it. Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Dear Mary, Mary, I've heard about your garden with all the silver bells, cockle shells and pretty maids in it. No wonder everyone stares. 
If you don't want them to, you could grow a hedge, Mother Goose. Dear Mother Goose, every time I climb the water spout, it rains and I get washed out. Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain and the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Dear incy wincy, water's nice. Get a surfboard and have some fun, Mother Goose. Dear Mother Goose, I have to cross London Bridge to get home but it keeps falling down. How can I get across the river? My fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. My fair lady, did you know there's a train that goes under the river? That will get you home, Mother Goose. So, Humpty Dumpty, Incy Wincy, Mary Mary, Jack and Jill sent their letters to Mother Goose and she sent them letters back. When they saw what she had written, it cheered them up no end. Dear Mother Goose, said everyone, is really our best friend. Let's all go and visit her. Let's knock upon her door. Let's say that we were often sad and now we're sad no more. So off they went to where she lived and stood about outside to see what Mother Goose then saw. You open this door wide. Thank you, Mother Goose. The end. Take a look in the comments below for some suggested questions to ask your child to help increase their understanding of stories. We hope you enjoyed our story and thank you for watching. Please remember to share, like and subscribe to our channel for upcoming new books. If you enjoyed this story, please do check out some of our other stories on the channel. And if you're looking for more information and help on how to teach your child English as a second language, please pop over to our website at www.eek.com.hk. Thanks for watching.